with John and Allie in the backyard of their beautiful home and we're going to talk a little bit about what the home buying process is like, but first let's um, take a little bit of time to get to know John and Allie. So tell me a little bit about yourselves. I understand that you're newlyweds. You've got a new little guy here. Yes, so we tried to go in order. Our goal was first to get a dog, but here we are. <laughs> But no, but we recently got married last May, so coming up on our first anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And then um, went on our honeymoon, bought a home, and found out we were pregnant a couple couple weeks after that. So kind of in getting to know you guys a little bit, tell me about what you guys do. So I do medical ultrasound and Mm -hmm. And then I'm also in the medical field, but I'm actually on the uh, medical sales side. So you guys have known each other all this time and dated all this time. At what point did you decide to kind of enter the home buying scene? Tell me a little bit about kind of behind the scenes, your thought process for that. Mm -hmm. So great question, because John and I originally were going to go for an apartment because mm -hmm. we were young and wanted yeah. the city life and all of that. But John was the wiser of the two of us and decided to look in this area for a home. Yeah, so we were living on the plaza in an apartment and her lease was coming up and we had to make a decision. And she was thinking apartment and I was wanting to buy a home. So I kind of kept putting in feelers that, oh, Brookside area is pretty cool. I, I really like the Brookside area. What do you think? And finally won her over and uh, yeah, we started looking in the Brookside area. So John, why were you so fixated on Brookside or what was kind of the draw here? Uh huh. Uh, my family's from the East Coast and a lot of old homes and a lot of character. So going through Brookside, one, it has a ton of character. And then two, it's full of a lot of young families kind of just getting started. And obviously that, uh, that applies to us now. So uh, we feel very at home. Yeah, it's such a great walkable neighborhood and there's still plenty to do. Did you think the same way? Did you love Brookside at first? Loved, I, or? loved Brookside. So I mean, growing up in Kansas City, mm -hmm. I have an older sister as well who, if she were in the city, would have chosen Brookside. Yeah. So I kind of had to follow in her footsteps too, because I just, like you said, love the charm, love the big trees and everything, and um, the young families and all that it has to offer, so. Tell me kind of about your home buying process um, and experience. How did that start and where did it lead you? It's scary at first. <laughs> you don't really know where to look or what you're looking for or really what's a good deal. So um, we started looking around at realtors and Allie actually got in contact with Ellen. Yes. And you can kind of tell more, more so, of the first interaction. Yes. So our price range and area that we chose, Ellen was number one everywhere that I looked. So I immediately reached out to her and she was by far the most prompt to getting back to me because we know these homes go so fast. So I was really appreciative of how prompt she was and um, just kind of led us in this direction and we couldn't be more grateful, so. Led us in this direction, was so knowledgeable about everything, especially with these older homes. Ours was built in 36, so uh, there's a lot that can come with an older home and Ellen definitely knows and has seen probably everything that, that comes with an older home. So there are a lot of different styles kind of here in Brookside. So how did you go about learning, um, first of all, what there was to offer here in Brookside, but then also making that decision, narrowing it down to what you guys wanted? When we first met Ellen, she wanted to get to know us and we went into her office and she actually just showed us all the listings that were on at the moment. We gave her feedback and it was pretty funny. I, I feel like within a day, she automatically knew what style from our answers to to the home listings and knew exactly which direction to, to take us. So I understand that there was kind of a little hiccup maybe with her, with you guys finding the home of your dreams and Ellen kind of helped you through that or navigated. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yes, so that was actually over our honeymoon. Okay. Um, we were a little bit stressed because we wanted to move out of my apartment on the mm -hmm. plaza but um, and recently married but didn't have any home to come back to. So Ellen, even on our honeymoon, um, we kept in contact and enjoyed ourselves on the honeymoon, but enjoyed talking to Ellen at the same time. So she did all the legwork while we were enjoying ourselves on our honeymoon, so. Mm -hmm. awesome. Kind of took a little bit of that stress off you guys. Yes. Took a ton of stress off, yes. yeah. So Ellen was able to set everything up and still view the house and from seeing a lot of houses before with her in person, mm -hmm. we really trusted her that 
if she said this was a good one, then we knew it was a good one. So Ali, how was it for you kind of looking for the home and um, knowing when you found the right thing or yes. tell me about that? So um, funny you ask, we, when we were looking for a home, we've gone through several, actually more like 10 to 12. When I love something, I go really quiet and I just kind of take it all in. Mm -hmm. So immediately when we came in this home, I just automatically went quiet and just took it all in and just observed everything and to the point that I think Ellen was kind of like, John, does she like this home? Or she's being really quiet. And I was, John's like, no, that's that's a good that's sign. That's sign. Yes. And, um, didn't want to get my hopes up either, so I was just kind of a little bit tentative, but mm -hmm. we landed it and we are mm -hmm. so happy. So obviously like the whole closing process can be a little bit stressful and I know you were in love with the home. So tell me a little bit about kind of how that went and how Ellen was through all of that. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so if I had mentioned that looking for homes was a little bit scary, putting that offer and hopefully winning the listing is even scarier. So it's great to have someone like Ellen that is is a fighter and right when we put that offer down it was it was her her golden time. She was like this is what we're going to do and just really walked us through the whole closing which was and very helpful for first first time homeowners as mm -hmm. well. We really didn't have any idea what to do. Mm -hmm. Um so we are very grateful just again to have her guidance and trusting her and um, again these homes go so fast so it was like I'll always remember it was a Friday night that we put our offer and found out Saturday afternoon so kind of quick. Fantastic yeah I've heard Ellen say before that it's one of her goals to not let a new homeowner make a mistake so did you feel that way that confidence or? Oh we had yeah complete trust and confidence in her so Definitely. I mean, we had we had lost one listing, and Ellen was great to just she been around the block. That was our first home that we lost, and she let us know that that there'll be another better one, which there obviously obviously yeah. is. Yeah. But there was also multiple times where we we pulled up to a house, and it might have been the tenth home that we we had seen, and Ellen knew right away that it wasn't for us, and we didn't even walk in the house. So yeah, she she will let you make a mistake. <laughs> So when you found out, I mean, that you had gotten a home, you said it went really fast. Was there like celebration or what did you guys do? Definitely celebrating. I mean, we were on cloud nine. Yeah. It was a lot at once, a lot of big life events at once, so. So Ellen's kind of famous around here for having kind of her list of guys, her troop of contractors. Um, she always says to have her to be the first phone call. Have you guys had any experience with that or have you run into anything in this first year? Oh yes, oh um, yes. Again, these older homes, you're going to run into problems any home you are, and even if they aren't problems that we thought they were problems, we immediately would text or call Ellen, and she was on it, giving us names and phone numbers for really any problem that we've come across. So I'm lucky that she hasn't blocked my number with, yes. <laughs> with, how, with how quickly I, I call her. It's any, anything pops up, if it's, if it's out of something easy I think I can do over a weekend, it's immediately calling Ellen, hey Ellen, who do you have, this is the problem. So what do you recommend, Ellen, as a realtor to your friends and family, and maybe why? Yes, actually we already have um, mm -hmm. a couple times. Um, Again, I don't think you can find many like her in this area especially. She is so knowledgeable, so prompt, and can pick up any type of phone call, whatever time. A few of our friends have actually found homes through Ellen, and the, the reason that I felt confident recommending her was probably, like I said earlier, that she's so knowledgeable and she's a fighter. I mean, you really have to fight for these Brookside homes, so I definitely trust Ellen. Well, it's been great to get to know you guys and kind of chat a little bit about your home buying experience here in beautiful Brookside. Um, so thanks for your time. Of course, Thank thanks, you. Emily.